Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my eyebrows. This actually was requested by a few friends of mine, so I figured I would make this video and share it with everybody. So to start off, I'm going to be brushing out my brows, and then I always like to pluck out any stray hairs that there may be. And after I've plucked out the stray hairs, I'm going to brush through that one more time before beginning. And today I am using um, a brow pomade, which I got by the brand Salon Perfect, and you can find that at Walmart. And it's really great because it's four bucks and it comes with this spoolie dual-ended brush and also the pomade, obviously. Um, so here it is right here. This is in the shade Light Brown. Um, obviously not the right shade for me, but we will fix it later. Don't you worry. Um, so I'm just going to be dipping my brush into that and then I scrape the sides off on the little um, jar. Then I always, always start on the tail. Basically, I'm just underlining the tail and then I just will fill it in and I'm just doing this with a very light hand. The lighter hand you use with pomade is the best. You can always make it darker later. Um, so then I also underline the middle of the brow and then I will fill in just all the sparse areas just with a light strokes, light short strokes. Then I like to go to the top of the brow and I will start to outline um, the front. And again, I'm using a very light hand. I know it comes off a little dark, um, but that's why we don't want to push really hard and then have Sharpie brows. <laughs> so yes, I'm just outlining the top, making my shape. This is pretty much my natural shape. This is how my hairs grow. Um, I don't really try to create a different shape. This is how I have shaped my brows. Um, so it's easier to follow the natural hairline and then I will start to fill in the rest the front of the brow Now the key to making it look a little natural is I like to pinch my brush and it makes it really flat and then I will dip it into the pomade again and then I can get a really precise line right here to underline the bottom and the reason why I pinched that brush is because afterwards I will uh, when I'm filling in the front I will make hair like strokes um, and then it just makes it look like you know hairs but I'm just drawing it in <laughs> and I just like to fade the front too so I always like the middle and the tail of my brow to be darker than the front of my brow that's just how I prefer it so as you can see here I go pretty fast and I go upwards to make the hair like strokes and then I go sideways to kind of like blend it through and um, I try to do a really light hand with this now that I am happy with the um, saturation of the color and the shape and everything I'm just gonna run my spoolie through it again just to blend it and also if you had any like chunks in there it'll just take it out and it just helps it to look a little more natural as well so I'm showing you here the before and the after um, it still doesn't look you know too bold too fake but it does look way better and way cleaner and here is both of them filled in Now, I am going to do an extra step because I'm extra. Y'all don't have to do this, but this is what I do on most days. I carve out my brows, and I'm using my favorite concealer to carve my brows out, and it's by Cover FX. It's their cream concealer, and the color I use is Light Golden. And I also have this flat concealer brush from e.l.f., and I like to pinch that as well to make it very precise and flat. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that concealer 
and I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of my brows this is completely optional like I said like you don't have to do this but I really do think that this takes your brows to another level so if you're looking to slay that day this is what you do girl because this will take it to the other level this is why you know people get compliments on their brows is because they go the extra mile um, so yeah I just like to underline it clean it up and then whatever's left that I don't need I just drag it down to the lid and that will just basically highlight my brow for the day or prime my lid from doing eyeshadow or whatever And after I've done that, I am not dipping my brush into more concealer. This is literally just whatever's left over on the brush. I am going to just carve out the top just a tiny bit. You don't want to do this too much with a light concealer because then like it can look really weird and really fake um, because like the light concealer on top will just make it look weird. Um, but I just use like the tiniest, tiniest bit, whatever's left over on my brush and I will just clean up the top. Um, so it's all perfect. So that's the before and this is the after and it just looks really nice and clean and I just really prefer my brows this way. So the last step which is super important and it's going to be the brow gel or brow mascara. The one I'm using today is by NYX. It's their brow ma tinted brow mascara and this is the shade Espresso. Um, this is a pretty dark shade, but I did dye my hair darker, which is why I got it darker. So first what I like to do is run it through the middle, not the front of the brow, because if you do the front of the brow first, I notice that I get chunks in there, and we always want to like fade our brow because it looks a little more natural and it just looks more pleasing. So I will do the middle first, get most of the product off, uh, run it through the tail, and then once I get to the front, I like to pull it up vertically. And of course guys, practice makes perfect. Just keep on practicing, you will have fleeky brows, okay? So here is the finished product and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching or stopping by. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from yours truly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!